Hi guys, today I've got the top of the line charger from A-Star, the VP4 Plus Dragon. It's a 4 slot charger with large LCD screen, which supports lithium and nickel battery types. It can charge and discharge them and measure their capacity. It also has a couple of interesting features, like charging uh, 3S lithium packs, power bank function, and measuring the internal resistance and voltage of batteries using dedicated probes. Let's look at the box. It comes in a white box with very high quality printing. You can see some parts of the printing are glossy. On the uh, left side there is the list of supported sizes. Uh, it supports uh, lithium batteries up to 42650 size, uh, nickel batteries up to D size, and 3S packs at 11.1 volt. On the right side there are some features, and on the back uh, you can find uh, brief specifications and the scratch code which you can use to verify your device on XTAR's website. Let's open the box and look what's inside. Inside the box there is a bag. I think it's waterproof. But I've never checked it. In the bag there is the charger. Uh, this paper telling thanks for choosing XTAR warranty card in Chinese uh, with scratch code warranty card in English the user's manual in English and in Chinese there is also a power adapter giving out 3 amps at 12 volts. This is the European version. A power adapter for using in a car. And the props to measure the internal resistance and the voltage. It has USB interface. You can see it. So let's plug in the power and a look how it works. Before connecting the power supply, let's take a close look at the charger. It has fanless design. The sides are empty, except the top side, which has a USB port uh, for connecting the probes to measure the internal resistance of batteries a power port, a USB output port which can give out up to 2.4 amps and a balancing port uh, to connect uh, lithium packs it can give out up to 1 amp. The bottom side uh, has vents for better airflow and brief specifications. So uh, let's connect the power supply and insert some batteries. As you can see each slot has an LED indicator which lights green when there is no battery inserted or the battery is fully charged. While the battery is being charged it lights red and in discharging mode it lights blue. The four slots are independent in terms of battery types uh, and you can mix lithium and nickel battery types. All the four slots support charging current up to 1 amp and when there is no battery inserted in the second and third slots, the first and fourth slots support charging current up to 2 amps. So let's put in the batteries. I have mixed the battery tabs. I've inserted lithium ion, nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium type batteries and you can see the LED indicators now light red because the charger automatically starts charging the batteries and the default charging current is 1 amp. 
we can change the charging current by pressing the left button and at the moment we can choose from 0.5 amp and 1 amp the 2 amp current is inaccessible because there are batteries inserted in the second and third channels so let's try to take them out and choose 2 amps here we go and if we put them back the charger will switch back to 1 amp that's it the LCD screen shows information for two channels at the same time right now it shows information for the second and third channels and we can switch to the first and fourth slots by pressing the display button and uh, on the LCD screen we can see the battery type the channel number the process charging or discharging the amount of capacity loaded in and the percentage if a battery is fully charged the charger will beep and display full instead of capacity we can switch the beeper off and on by pressing the right button two times and once again the X-Star Dragon has a special test mode for measuring the battery's capacity and 64 memory cells to store the results you can store uh, the results of up to four batteries in each cell the test mode is being activated by long pressing the right button you can see test appeared in the corner of the LCD screen and the number of the memory cell in which the data will be recorded the extra dragon starts by charging the battery to the full capacity after that it waits for five minutes and starts discharging it when the battery is fully discharged it waits for another five minutes and starts charging it when the battery is fully charged it stores the uh, discharged and charged capacities in the memory and displays them on the LCD screen we can review uh, the older uh, results by entering the review mode which is being done by short pressing the right button and we can go back by pressing the left button or forward by pressing the right button I will go back to the seventh record for example now you can see the results for the first and fourth channels and to show the results for the second and fourth channels you need to press the middle button there we go to quit the review mode uh, you need to double press the middle button to quit the test mode you need to long press the right button again that's it the refresh mode can be used to measure the battery's remaining capacity and to eliminate the nickel battery's memory effect let's insert a nickel metal hydride and a lithium ion battery and turn on the refresh mode by long pressing the left button you can see the water refresh appeared in the left corner in this mode the charger performs discharging after that it waits for five minutes and starts recharging until the batteries are fully charged you can see the light indicator of the lithium ion battery shows that it's being discharged but in case of nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium batteries uh, the charger needs about 10 minutes to identify uh, the battery type by applying very low current that's why the light indicator shows red and the nickel metal hydride sign is flashing after finishing the recharging the results are displayed on the LCD screen but they are not saved in the memory so after taking out the batteries uh, the results are lost as I have already said the XTAR Dragon has a power bank function and it has a USB output port on the top side which is rated at 2.4 amps but my test showed that it can give out up to 3 amps which is a very very good result I think so let's try to charge my XTAR Moon flashlight you can see uh, the light indicator of the flashlight doesn't light so it's not being charged 
at the moment. We need to insert a lithium ion battery. The power bank function works uh, only with lithium ion batteries. It doesn't work with nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium batteries. You can see the word USB appeared on the LCD screen, the channel number and the charge level of the battery. Let's connect the USB cable. It beeps and the light indicator of the flashlight turns to red, which means it's being charged. And the indicator of the battery is blue, which means it's being discharged. The USB output uh, can be powered by batteries and by power supply. So if we take out the battery and connect the power supply, the charging will restart, you can see it. And if we put the battery back in the charger, it will start charging the battery. You can see the light indicator of the battery turns to red and the battery is being charged. So uh, the extra dragon can charge the batteries and the USB devices at the same time. But if the power is insufficient for charging both of them, uh, the charger will cut off the USB output port to save power for charging the batteries. So the batteries have higher priority than the USB output port. The X-Star Dragon comes with special probes for measuring battery's voltage and internal resistance. The probes are spring-loaded and they are specially shaped for better contact. Let's try them uh, with a lithium-ion battery. First, we must connect them to the left USB port, just like that. And to enter the measuring mode, we must cross the props. Here we go. The voltage is 3.61 volt and the internal resistance 32 milliohms. To quit uh, the measuring mode, we must double click the middle button. If you have an over discharge to 0 volt battery, don't throw it away. The X-Star Dragon has a 0 volt battery activation function, so you can give a chance to your battery. You just insert it and wait until the voltage rises to normal value. So in the end, we have a 4-slot smart charger with fanless design, which accepts nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium and lithium ion 4.2 volt batteries at up to 32650 size. Uh, it supports free charging currents and it has a special test mode for measuring battery's full capacity and refresh mode uh, for eliminating the memory effect of nickel batteries. It has a balancing port for charging free as lithium packs at 1 amp and a USB output port which can be powered both by batteries and the power supply. It comes with special probes for measuring uh, the battery's internal resistance and voltage. But this charger has several disadvantages and the first one I would like to mention is that the chosen mode is applied to all four slots. You can't choose for example the test mode for the second slot only or the refresh mode for the first slot only. The second disadvantage is that it doesn't support lithium ferrophosphate and lithium ion 4.35 volt batteries. The third one is that there is no voltage indication while charging or discharging. The fourth and the last disadvantage is the small choice of charging current. You can choose from 0 0.5, 1 and 2 amps only. You can't choose for example 0 0.7 or 1.5 amps. That's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and bye bye.